I'd like to take a closer look at this one. Oh wow, that's a major difference. Well, it picks up a lot of speed here. Did it get you where you're going and when you need to get there, for sure. <laughs> so what do you think? I like it, man. How we doing? Hey, fine, how are you? Andy. Andy, I'm Mark, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Heard a lot about your car, I just wanted to see if I could come around and take a look today. Absolutely. The neighborhood's got some, and I've uh, been thinking and talking some to my wife. Yeah, absolutely, let's check them out. All right. Wow, you got a lot of carts out here. I was expecting to see two or three, not all of this. Yes, it's sir. awesome. So are you familiar with the uh, Evolution or Venom, EB? Um, not really, just folks in the neighborhood have been talking and I've heard that name mentioned, but gotcha. uh, that's- So that's, this is the Venom lineup um, and they come in all different colors. Well, you definitely don't have a shortage of colors. I can see that. <laughs> How many of those you sell? Uh, quite a few. Uh, the Barbie movie really helped that one. That's awesome. Uh, and then this is the uh, Evolution Forester. This is the Pro model, this is the Plus model, you have the Forester 6. Um, now the forward facing seat is one of the things that I really took notice of, my buddy bought recently, he said I ought to check out the Maverick. Okay, yeah, so the, the four, four forward is the, by far the most popular car, this is the Ranger, and I believe you was asking, I think your neighbor bought the Maverick. This, yeah, he this said is I need Maverick. to check out the Maverick for sure, so this is what he's got, looks almost identical, just a different color. Correct, yeah. The Maverick is uh, a little more aggressive looking. I've actually sold more of the Maverick just because of the look of it. Um, it has a brush guard on the front, uh, off-road tires, and side steps. That's the only difference in the cars. And they're all lithium batteries? Yes. Now, how long uh, can I normally ride on one good full charge? Uh, 25 to 35 miles on a single charge, and they charge back really quick. Two and a half, three hours, they were fully charged. So. Oh wow, I thought you were going to tell me overnight, so like three hours I can get it back to a full charge. Yes sir, okay. very popular car. Okay. I'd like to take a closer look at this one. All right. So this is the Maverick, does it come with everything that I see on this cart uh, just straight out the door? Yes sir. This is uh, pretty much loaded up with all the accessories you see uh, straight off the truck. Um, so it's a, it has a push button, the key fob, so it's a push button start. All you have to do is hit the button, the car will come on. Um, this is a nine inch monitor, it's basically your speedometer, it's your battery life indicator, and you can control your sound bar. It does have uh, AM, FM radio and Bluetooth. Um, you can hook your phone up to it, which is the way most people do it. It has a microphone here. Um, if the phone rings, you can talk through the system. Um, you can change the colors of your sound bar here by doing this, and you can see the sound bar changes colors. Um, it does have a cool pattern to where you're listening to music riding down the road. The sound bar, the LEDs on it will change colors as the music plays. Sounds pretty modern tech. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, um, it does have adjustable steering wheel so makes it nice for bigger or smaller people to be able to adjust that to it. It has a uh, lockable storage in the front, it has another storage compartment here. Um, has, uh, this is your drive indicator so you have drive, neutral, and reverse. Uh, you put it in reverse, this cart does have a backup camera so it shows you what's behind you. Are these uh, armrests pretty sturdy if grandma needs to kind of hold on to this to pull herself up and get in? Yes, sir. I mean, I wouldn't want, to, want her to bank on it and just pull an alder weight on it, but I think to, for support, it would definitely help. Um, they have three-point uh, seatbelt harness, uh, which is really, really nice. Safe for especially kids. You can put car seats in it to keep your kids, smaller kids, in it. Um, Speaking of car seats, it looks like it is car seats, really. That's yeah, nice to these are, these are the, I call the captain's chairs, so they're really nice. It has LED lights all the way around, headlights and taillights. You have uh, daytime running lights, uh, high beam. Um, so very nice cart. It does have a regenerative brake, so when you let off the gas, the cart automatically starts slowing you down. Once you get stopped, the cart will not roll, which is a really nice safety feature. So I don't have to put any kind of parking brake on is what you're saying? Right. Um, it does have more storage in the back. There's a trunk and you can throw groceries in it or beach towels or whatever. And they make all kinds of accessories for this car. They make beach chair holders that you screw in here. Um, trailer hitch, we put trailer hitches on them. Um, this right here spins out really easy. It's just three knobs here and then this comes right out. So, so if you did, if you did want to play golf, this is where that would be. 
Um, they make the golf bag attachment screw in here. You club sit here and you strap it in. Um, or a lot of people use that to hold a, a smaller cooler um, if you want to do that and tote it to the beach. Well, I know why he told me to check out the Maverick. It's a nice looking ride. Got a lot of stuff to uh, offer. Yeah, they've been a very popular cart for us and we're, we're blessed to be able to sell them. So. Awesome. Now, what if I wanted to take a test drive? Uh, are we able to do that in your parking yes, lot? Yes, sir, or? absolutely. We, we can take it out and uh, take it for a spin, see what you think. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how this thing handles. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's get it on the road, see what All she'll right. do. So what do you think? I'll tell you what, it drives nice. Uh, a lot smoother than what I thought. Uh, cart we have now really bounces you to death. It must not be an evolution. <laughs> well, it's not lithium battery either. <laughs> and what kind of speed can I get up to with this? Uh, the car will do 25 mile an hour. So plenty fast enough for a neighborhood or a campground. Well, it really handles great. The uh, pedals are really nice, different than what I've got at home on the car that I've got. It kind of drives more like an automobile. That's what this is basically is a uh, Golf cart automobile is really popular, um, especially for neighborhoods, campgrounds, um, and to play golf. We do sell some to the local golf courses and the, the people play golf in them as well. But for the most part, the biggest the biggest sale is just kicking around in the neighborhood, taking the family on joy rides in the evening, especially when the, in the warmer months, they can get out and, and, and enjoy it. Now, I'm in low right now, I notice um, it's not holding back, but uh, what's the difference if I put it in high versus driving in low? Well, low is just basically a battery saver. You know, most of the time you can do 12 to 14 mile an hour in low, and that's plenty fast enough if you're just kicking around the neighborhood. It's nice to have the speed if you need it, throw it in high and get on down the road, but if you're just kicking around, I just recommend keeping it in low, and it really preserves the battery. Now the turn signals, uh, I guess, um, okay, I do see it on the dash down there. Okay, I, I was wondering about where all I would see so the turn signal. you got indication signal. on the dash and in the mirror, oh, okay, which is really also. nice yeah. at night. Okay. And it is self-canceling, so I don't know if you noticed, but once you turn, got back straight, the turn signal self-canceled, just like your car. I did, and I didn't notice on the mirror until you pointed that out to me, so it was pretty cool. It's so quiet, it's amazing. I feel like that it's not going to move when I start because you don't hear it running, but uh, it's kind of cool. It's a little breezy out today. I noticed the windshield looks like it's hinged. I guess I can keep that up or down. And I noticed the vents on there as well. Is that more just for the hot summer days? Right. So these vents, you can spin them and open them if you want to ride and just get air in. Um, it is a little chillier today. We're out here by the lake and you get a wind across. Uh, we do have uh, custom fit enclosures that are really nice on days like today that you can, you know, get in and, and zip it down. It keeps the air off of you. If you was running to run into a rainstorm, it would keep the, the water off of you. And those are really nice, especially this time of year. Uh, we do a lot of enclosures on these carts. Now, do you mind if I put it in high at this point and just see what the difference is? No, let's get it going. Let's see what she'll do. Oh wow, that's a major difference between the uh, low and the high. It really picks up a lot of speed here. It'll get just... you where you're going and when you need to get there, for sure. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> I like it, man. I guess we got to talk about payment options. Absolutely. Okay, so we do have uh, financing available and, uh, for all credit tiers. So yeah, we can absolutely talk about that. Well, let's go inside and talk some numbers. All right. You mentioned earlier about the financing. I think you said something about 0% financing available. Yes, sir. We do offer financing for all credit tiers. Um, through Sheffield, if you scan this QR code, um, it's a five minute application. And uh, I think I'd like to do that. All right. Sounds good. Thank you.